Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a fall makeup look. I am using a lot of makeup that I have used in the past from that I haven't touched in months. So it's a oldie but goodie video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's just jump right in. Not 100% sure if this is going to work for me because it looks like this is a little slanted. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my angles right, and I just feel like this chair is too low. Like, I need, like, a pillow or something. Let me see. Okay, see, now, there, that works. That is better. Okay, so let's get into this. Video. Okay, can we just talk about my sweater right now? Like, I literally live in this sweater, you guys. Like, this one and the pink one. And then I also have the fall one coming in. Like, the Halloween one. Oh, guys, I love her sweaters. If you guys are interested, I think these are still available. So I will leave one linked down below. So I'm just putting my hair up. So like you guys saw in the title this is a video using a bunch of old products that i used to use so i'm gonna go in with my brows and of course i used to always 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 use the anastasia brow was until i found my most recent fave which y'all already know is the maybelline one but we're gonna go in and use the anastasia one today i'm going through like this hair growth like brow growth during right now I'm um, using the Anastasia Dip Brow. I, of course, am going to outline, just outline my eyes, my eyes, <laughs> my eyebrows. I'm sorry, you guys. I literally, can y'all tell, like, I haven't filmed in so long. So just, like, a quick update, like, I know you guys haven't seen me in a while, pretty much since I moved. I wanted to pre-film at my house, in my old house, before we moved, but it just didn't work out for me. We just had so much going on with, like, trying to move and finding a house, and then we had to find a house before we sold our house, and that time was, like, running down, and, like, we were on a time limit, and it just got very, very stressful. Yeah, so it was just really, really hard to pre-film and then be able to upload while I was getting situated in the new house and it just didn't work out so I just couldn't and like it's been like a very difficult transition into the new house with so many people I just I haven't had any time to film Connor started school the other kids started school I started school, so it's just been really, really difficult, but I feel like just vlogging is a little easier for me right now, and, like, mommy videos, I got, like, a lot of ideas for videos, <laughs> it's just, I'm telling you, like, my schedule is so hectic, you guys, that it's just so hard to find the time to film sometimes, even, like, simple videos, like, I want to this is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base. This is honestly the best eye base ever. Hands down. Best eye base. To this day. This is the only base I use for my eyes. And to like clean up my brows. So I am going to go in and I'm going to use my pore filling primer from NYX. This is a one I used to use all the time. And obviously, I'm just going to put this where I have pores, smooth out my, smooth this area out right here because, oh my god, that looked so disgusting. So, I want to, like, change up my background and I plan on doing, like, colored background soon. I'm going to do, like, a DIY project, I guess you can say. I'm going to, well, you'll see. I'll vlog it for you guys and you'll see, but I'm going to, like, hang up a curtain rod up here. And then get those paper backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with my Max Fix Plus. 
I haven't used this in forever, you guys. Like, it's been a hot minute since I've used this. So let me see if it'll... Oh my god, that feels so freaking hydrating. Oh, it feels so good. Why did I stop using that? My whole shirt is wet. Like, you can even see, like, gold reflexes in it. So, actually, while we let that kind of set into my skin, I'm going to be going into the Dose of Colors Frankation Palette. I saw Katie use it in her recent video, and I was like, girl, I gotta use that palette. I haven't used that palette in a while. So, we're bringing it out. And this is it right here. It's been gently used, so I haven't used it all that much. So I'm going to go in with this brown shade, which is called Churro. So I'm going to go in with Churro and just kind of put this all over the lid. And just buff this out. And I'm going to bring this all the way in here. So just to go over top of it, I'm going to go in with this this shade right here, which is called Necessary, this shade here, and just slightly just grab some on top, and kind of just on top, use it to diffuse the churro shade, see how it's really nicely like makes it look very gradient that's what i was looking for i'm kind of irritated that that little spot right there you guys can see it's right here it doesn't want to pick up any pigment there and i've just been having the worst issues with my eyes like picking up pigment in certain areas because my allergies have been so bad it's just this dry weather and <laughs> This, like all the fires everywhere it's just so bad you guys so I'm not really too worried about not picking up too much because I'm gonna go in with a darker shade so I'm gonna go in with jeans with is this darker brown shade here it's more of like a very rich brown just very slightly pick it up and I'm just gonna diffuse that out Okay, so sorry, I didn't realize that my camera stopped recording. So I went and I finished my eyes. I did my other eye. I went in with the shade right here, which is just a kiss, which is this shimmer shade right here. And I just put it on my lid. I didn't cut the crease or anything. I just wanted a very gradual, not a very sharp the crease and I did my eyeliner and I used the NYX matte liquid liner this is a really really great liner and very affordable so for foundation I'm gonna go in with this foundation I haven't used this in a very long time but it is one of my favorite foundations it's the Maybelline 24 hour stay matte foundation and I'm in the shade natural beige so I'm just gonna pump a few pumps on here on my sponge and just dab it it might be a little too dark okay so just bear with me both of my kids are actually crying both are supposed to go to bed right now and don't want to one is because he's a baby and he's very depend dependent on me and the second one is crying because he wants to play his switch so that's like the stuff i have to deal with you know but what I will probably do is just finish this video. I do have to film a few more videos after this. And it is very late already. It's 9 o'clock. And I will probably do the other video after I put him to bed. Okay, so obviously this looks so much better. I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit. Since we are done with the eyes right now. I don't want to feel like I'm so up close and I'm making you guys uncomfortable. So I'm going to zoom you guys out just a little bit. I really, really like how the eyes came out. Very fall vibes. And y'all know I'm living for the fall vibes right now. I'm so, like, all about fall. Like, this is my favorite season. For concealer, I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is a creaseless soft matte. And it has hyaluronic acid, which... 
who doesn't like hyaluronic acid because your skin loves it so this shade is definitely a little too bright for me as you can tell <laughs> so I'm just gonna do three little stripes of course then I'm gonna go in and wet my sponge with some fix plus I used to do this all the time and just go in with the concealer and so it does say creaseless but let's be real here mm, I still crease because I just am a crease queen I guess you can say like no matter what I crease like it's just a given so you can tell like just even three stripes was a little too much so obviously that's like hella like whoo that was like ghost white so I will show you guys like a little trick I know to kind of get rid of that because unfortunately like obviously when you wear translucent powder it's gonna make it even look a little more brighter because it's freaking stark white translucent powder right so this is a tip I learned from my instructor I definitely need to buy a new shade in this probably like a shade darker one shade darker because I really do enjoy this concealer but obviously this is one of the reasons why I stopped using it because it's too bright for me so for now what I do is I go back in with the part that I did my foundation and I kind of just stamp it over like you can see it kind of like doesn't make it as bright it's not as bright anymore like it looks a little more um like the non-cloud side but obviously not enough okay so then I'm gonna go in this is a Colourpop no filter setting powder and this is in the shade translucent so I'm gonna go in with this brush here which is what I usually use for my concealer when I'm using brush just to make sure I'm not creasing before I set so obviously like you can see I'm already creasing it's not like really crease it's just a natural crease that I have right here Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, Powder Foundation, just to set the rest of my face. And this also kind of helps neutralize it. Now what I do like about the concealer is that I feel like sometimes it does oxidize. Well, not sometimes, it does oxidize, so it doesn't look as bad on my skin once I put the translucent powder on but it does still look pretty bright and something like I really don't like so I'm gonna go in with bronzer I'm gonna go in with the hula bronzer this is like an OG bronzer so I'm just gonna contour a little bit I don't really usually contour now with the excess that I have on this brush a bronzer right I'm gonna slightly go under my under eyes and I feel like it helps bring a little bit more of a color back into the skin it might not work for everybody obviously but it might work for some so if you guys try it out let me know so you see it's not as bright anymore so we look good now so this is an oldie and a goodie but i still use it now and this is the milani baked bronzer in soleil i honestly live for this bronzer it obviously does have a bit of a sheen to it like in the packaging it does look like a lot but it's really not you guys can just it just gives me like that really really like bronzy sun-kissed look so i have like a lot of dry patches like i'm, I'm telling you my skin is going through it you guys because so for blush i'm going to be using the wet and wild nudist society See how, like, such a youthful glow I have. Oh, highlighter. Okay, so highlighter, y'all. This is gonna be... Y'all. It just speaks for itself, you guys. This is OG highlighter back in the day. Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It's just everything, right? So I'm gonna go in and... Just, you know, give myself some glow. <laughs> Do you guys see 
how gorgeous that is. And that's not even wetting it. Like, that just, like, oh. I just, I really love this one because it literally looks like it's not heavy. It's not glittery. It's not chunky. So it literally looks like you're glowing within. Like, it's as if it's your skin. That's what I've always loved about this one. And honestly, don't know why a lot of people don't talk about this anymore. There's just so many highlighters that have come out, you guys. Like, And obviously, if you wet it, it's going to be more intense. But honestly, I don't need more intensity when it comes to this highlighter. Like, I want to leave it where it looks radiant and natural and a glow from within. Like, So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to do it, like, old style. Like, not and putting anything under the eye, like any eyeshadow. I'm just going to put, like... Um, eyeliner on the bottom okay so I'm gonna wear some lashes that I always wear these are from R.I.P. but I cannot remember what style these are Annette if you're watching these what style are these because I need to know <laughs> I just have them in this box usually I say like the plastic where it says their names but I guess I didn't and I'm pro I'll probably hit her up I'll text her in a bit these are very dramatic lashes as you can tell but I love me some dramatic lashes and y'all should really check out her lashes they're really really great quality they honestly like they stay in place all day and she has really great styles I really love her styles and yeah I'll leave her info down below like her website her instagram y'all should really check her out so i'm just gonna curl my lashes i'm just gonna use the regular mascara that i always use i need to go buy more mascara i want to get the lash paradise again these are called sinner she texted me back right away so thank you annette for texting me back right away they are in this style sinner so they are i believe these are the 25 millimeter lashes she does have other shorter lashes i literally have a stock here but i do have to order more so girl be prepared because i'm gonna be ordering some and this is gonna be a lot because i need more lashes especially shadow shadow is literally my favorite style i'll pop it up right here so you guys will see which ones i'm talking about they are my favorite style and literally need like four or five of those because i just need to have those all the time because those are like my everyday lashes so i'm gonna go in with a dark lip kind of grungy this is a lippy pencil. Um, this is the Colourpop and Bretman Rock collab in Dukes. And it is pretty dark. I'm just... So I'm going to go in with this Orpha times Morphe in vinyl. This lip actually looked pretty well with this full look. So the last thing I'm going to go do is setting spray, of course. And I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray because, you know. I freaking love how this smells. And it makes me look so freaking good. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the finished fall makeup look with using all these butt goodies, y'all. There's some goodies in here that obviously, like, if I want, like, a more defined brow like I have now, I'll still use it and I'll love it. But for me now, like, I live a more natural brow, so I would obviously go in with just a pencil. But I still love it, the dip brow. So, yeah, I really enjoy this look. Loving this fall makeup vibes. Y'all already know fall is my favorite season. I love like the grungy makeup, like the fall vibes, dark lip, dark eyeshadow, and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.